Hey, hey guys, it's your buddy Keith here again at Essex Recording Studios just outside London in England. Just got back from holiday in Greece and I've got yet another ESP LTD EC1000 Deluxe to share with you guys. If you're new to the channel, click like, click subscribe, come join the circle of friends and come see a lot of killer guitars up close and in person so you know just what they're like as if you were holding them in your very own hands at your local guitar shop. Cool. If you want to buy any, any of these guitars, they're for sale on our website, EssexRecordingStudios.com. Also hosted by our buddies Reverb.com, so you can check them out on Reverb. If you want to chat more, just hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, or the Twitter. It's at Essex Recording Studios. Cool. So let's chat about this. This is one of the many red quilt tops that we've had. Uh, my favorite Les Paul variant by far is... Uh, the Eclipse style that comes from ESP. James Hetfield from Metallica uses it. He could play any guitar. So, you know, if he's using it, you know it's good. You've got this beautiful kind of arch top. Nice bevels around the controls. Um, EMG, looks like dual 81s here. Looks like it. And uh, what's really nice is the abalone purfling. Pure fling, pure fling. Hope I'm saying it right. And inlays. I mean, that is just gorgeous, honey. EC one thousand there, and what looks like mother of pearl at the twelfth fret. And then you've got deluxe and LTD logos in mother of pearl, as you can see. These early models. Uh, we just showed a two thousand nine all black model here on the channel, but uh, I was saying that in the comments, someone was like. Oh, you know, yours has aftermarket Spurzel tuners because they all come with ESP locking tuners. And I was thinking about it. I'm like, I don't think that's true. I think maybe the new ones come with ESP locking tuners. But look at this. Yet another one. Every single older one. This is a 2002. You know, the new one we showed was 2009. But every single older one that we've ever had has USA Spurzel locking tuners. So they probably cut down on the cost in later years. Um... You know, but, like, that's wild to get from the Korean factory. The spec is great. You know, other differences is if you look at the construction on the Korean model, you'll have a two-piece mahogany body. Japanese ESP, you'll have a one-piece mahogany body. You have a, a plastic, you know, two-screw cover for the battery. On the Japanese ESP, you have a nice push, easy access, flip top, brushed, uh, steel access panel for the 9-volt battery. Minor little differences, but all in all, for the money, guys, this is a hell of a guitar. And look at the top. I think this might be the nicest quilt top we've had out of any, uh, any of the LTDs. It's kind of hard to show you right now in the light because um, there's so much reflection going on. It looks much, much better in person. But, I mean, check that out. Try and just the lighting here. It is an intense quilt, guys. Real intense. Set neck construction there. Made in Korea. Just really, really nice. Practically, I mean, excellent, excellent condition. There's uh, a few little marks here and there they're they're minor but uh overall man this thing is awesome the black hardware is really good like like the bridge there in good shape usually you get a lot of pitting that you'll see but uh now everything's in good shape cool case as well we talk about how many different cases there are look at this you get the full-blown expensive Canadian TKL case, which is what they use with the Japanese top of the line ones with the metal plate, not the cheap stencil logo. So, I mean, these ESP LTD deluxe models are nicer than a lot of the Japanese models I've seen in earlier years, like especially during the 90s. If you had the choice, let's say if a 90s bolt on eclipse or this, man, I'd take this, I think. It's, it's just a killer. Badass, really good looking guitar. 
And there are uh, a lot of pros out there using it, for sure. Cool. Well, I'm going to make it short and sweet, guys. Thanks for following. I got a lot of videos to get through tonight. It's going to be uh, long hours because I'm... I've got quite a bit of driving to do tomorrow. Never-ending family obligations during the holidays. I'm sure some of you guys know what that's all about. And, and guess who always has to drive? Me. So, uh, I'm going to try and get through a lot, as many videos as possible tonight so that I can get a good night's sleep for a lot of driving I have to do tomorrow. And uh, to the rest of you guys, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah and all the rest. And uh, I'll see you soon in another video coming right up. Later, dudes.